Now we're kind of increasing the electronic leash, if you will, uh, but it's for a good reason. Good morning, Mission Control. It is Friday, May 22nd. It is a beautiful day here on the homestead. I'm feeling good. God has blessed us. I hope God has blessed you. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're all safe. Hey, I want to talk to you today about a problem that I've had that I now have a solution for. We live out in the middle of nowhere. You see behind me. We're way out here. Uh, and what does that mean? It means we have really bad cell service. In the house, I have a Wilson Electronics. I've had it for years now. Uh, amplifier, repeater uh, for cell phone. It's professional grade. Uh, you can't buy the cheap stuff when you're out here. Uh, it just doesn't work. I've tried. I've tried everything. Uh, you can't use internet repeaters. Some of you might be thinking that. Why don't you use internet repeaters? It's because the internet sucks. <laughs> you don't have an option. You got to pay. If you want to play, you got to pay. Uh, so <clears throat> today I'm headed out to the shop because the repeater that we have in the house, it works. It bumps up the signal by quite a few dB, almost like 10, 20 dB, which is enough to give us cell service and even LTE so we can actually do some streaming through our phones. Uh, but out the shop, the repeater only covers the house. So I have no service, no real service at the shop. And once you go in the metal building right there, service totally sucks. In fact, it goes to zero. So I actually uh, reached out uh, to a company and we're going to be talking about their stuff today uh, because I'm going to get an install put together and actually see about solving this problem. Welcome out to the shop and here is our solution. Totally up front, this product was sent to me after I reached out to them and said, hey, I got a problem, just like I told you guys. Uh, so this just happens to be uh, a product that's solving a problem I have. We're not doing like a here's a random thing and there's no point to this video other than for me doing a product review, which is what a lot of people think I do. But no, I actually try to only do product reviews of products that I actually want or need, like the flashlight that I did. I needed a good flashlight, so I did a product review. Hey, if you got it, use it. And uh, today we are gonna be doing a unboxing and installation uh, of this. Uh, first, just starting off, very well packaged. Uh, very excited about getting this all set up. Uh, so we need to kind of take some measurements on the phone service before we get going. So let's look at that real quick. This is the only, oops, that's not that. All right, so this is the only place in the shop where I get service, which is right next to the door, literally like 12 inches away from the door. Uh, and what we have here is uh, LTE Discovery. It's the app that I used previously to measure everything. And right now we've got Basically, we're on 3G, uh, and we have uh, negative 104 dB on that. And for EVDO, uh, which is another network type, we're at negative 107 uh, dB. We don't have any LTE. Oh, it just went to negative 105. So negative 105, negative 102. Those are going to be our baseline values for this installation. We'll see how well it changes. I'm very, very uh, hopeful of how well this is going to work. Uh, again, I have a Wilson Le Electronics, which is actually, you know what? I think Wilson Electronics is now owned by Sorensen Capital, and High Boost is part of the Haptic, Hoptic, Hoptic family uh, of products. So these are competitors. So I'm excited to see how they do. They're both professional grade uh, devices, as you'll see. So one of the things that is, boot, is boosted about, is boasted about on this particular product is its quality of, whoa, quality of components. So let's open it the right way here. So they're claiming industrial grade components. And, you know, having had things that aren't industrial grade, we should feel it pretty easily. The Wilson is a standard going for. Uh, here is probably what, the indoor? Yeah, this is probably the indoor antenna. It uh, has good, good connectors on it, not the small little guys, and it feels good. It's nice and, nice and strong. Here's the uh, unit itself, well packaged, and yeah, you can feel it's like aluminum. Yeah, I mean, that's really nice. That's actually nicer than the Wilson. Uh, that's, that's way nicer. And it has a digital display, which the Wilson didn't, doesn't. 
so you, you kind of you don't even really know what's going on with the Wilson when it's all plugged in. Here we got Jeff tipped half this stuff over, so it's a little messy in there. Not their fault, my fault. Here is the outdoor antenna, which is much larger uh, than the Wilson one, and it's directional, which is great because the Wilson one came with an Omni, uh, which I think they've upgraded. So I don't. That's not a slight on Wilson. I'm just saying that's the one it came with. I think they have a directional kit now that you can get, but. This is our outdoor directional, which we absolutely need in this location. Power cable, mount, antenna, power adapter. All right, outdoor mount. We've got some Velcro and some stickiness here. Uh, some more mounts and stuff. More mounts and stuff. And then deep down in the bowels, we've got the cables. So we've got the cable run. It's 50 feet, 30 feet. So that should be enough for us to do what we need to do. You know what? You make a flat surface and it just collects so much stuff. Well, there's all of our goodies. It's looking nice so far. I got it all organized here. So we've got uh, cables, outdoor or indoor antenna, outdoor antenna, the main unit itself, its antenna, power cables, and all the mount stuff. And then here are the instructions, which, as you can see, I've never opened before. So it's time for me to read. Smart link booster must be strategically placed. Yes, indeed. Before you really get going with everything, you really kind of got to do a site survey and figure out where the best place to mount everything is, right? Over to your right is our Wi-Fi extender. Now, Wi-Fi operates in about 2.4, this Wi-Fi operates in a 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency. This particular, the cell phone service I have is at 1900 uh, megahertz, it's CDMA technology. Now, this particular, um, amplifier will work for every type of cell phone that's out there but i specifically am looking for that 1900 megahertz as well as the lte uh, frequency which is away from the 2.4 gigahertz but it's not really far away and what that means is we don't really want to put an antenna next to another antenna because you can get interference and it'll screw up your wi-fi and it'll screw up your cell service so you do want to keep away from your Wi-Fi. Now, uh, depending on what service you have, what frequency your phones operate on, I can tell you that for us, if we turn Wi-Fi on, we lose LTE. So I know it's very close as far as its band goes. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to be going up here with it, which I don't want to do because I hate going up high. I really, really hate going up high. I really don't like it. But before we can get that all done, we actually need to go make a pole to put it on. So let's get inside. It is cold out here today, my goodness. Let's get inside and go make a pole. I just happen to have some old tube stock here. Let us maketh flatteth. I love this vice. This whole, this whole workbench from the neighbor is awesome. Thank you again, Cody. So you might be wondering what were we trying to accomplish with this post? I think be kind of obvious, but here is our directional antenna that goes outdoors. This is the mounting bracket that goes on it. U-clamp pipe. This allows us to rotate it so that we can change its orientation and make it all beautiful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount now. We can mount this up top and then we can put this all in it and we need to bring some holes through the building. Whew. But let's go look at everything first, make sure we do this nice. We're also getting that 20 foot separation, right? Well, my Wi-Fi repeater is causing all sorts of problems here with this particular setup. No fault of the company. Uh, and by causing problems, I don't have this thing turned on yet, obviously, but that Wi-Fi repeater is in a really nice spot, which this would be good in as well. And every other spot that I could put this thing in the barn in order to get the maximum coverage of the repeater or of this thing um, will probably either one, interfere with the wireless repeater or two, it will have a bunch of metal between it and the wireless repeater, uh, or a bunch of metal between, excuse me, the transmission directional antenna and the tower. So my particular location is a little bit tricky. So 
I'm deciding that I'm going to go ahead and you know follow the instructions. I'm going to do a soft setup. I'm actually going to set. I'm just going to go outside with this thing, get this thing all hooked up, and uh, connect the internal antenna as well. Set it all up, and then see how everything changes, and we'll go from there. So I have, I have the outdoor antenna outside with the metal door shut because if you open the metal door then you get um, you'll get signal and the metal is what really stops everything and I have the antenna indoor antenna all the way up at the top of the barn now this antenna can be mounted to the wall in fact the instructions say mount it to the wall but I'm having a hard time doing just that uh, because I really need like all this area to have coverage uh, the best place to to accomplish that amount of coverage is to mount it all the way in the back and point it this way, but I'm not certain we have enough um, length to do that, so we need to play around with it. But right now it's up there, and I actually have four bars of LTE now, whereas before I had none. So as far as does it work, the answer is yes, as Bandit would say. Or Bandit's probably just saying, feed me, let's go play. And right now, remember before, we didn't have any LTE and I'm using LTE Discovery and we're sitting at negative 108, negative 107 uh, dB uh, of LTE service. And I made a phone call, I made two phone calls actually. Once I turned it on, the phone rang. Uh, was, you know, it's double-edged sword, right? You want to be able to communicate with people, but sometimes you don't want to be communicated with, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and now we're kind of increasing the electronic leash, if you will. Uh, but it's for a good reason. Yeah, I'm standing right here underneath of it and I'm getting uh, four bars of LTE. I've downloaded their app and it is Bluetooth. The only problem with the app is that I can't go too far away from the receiver. So that's tough for me. But four bars of LTE in here. Let me go in the office and see what that looks like. So I, I made another phone call from in here as well. And here I have three bars of LTE, which makes sense because we have all this stuff in between. I'm at negative 109, negative 110. Uh, DB of signal strength. So that's really not that bad. And it just jumped up to uh, four bars there of LTE. Uh, and what that means is I'm now able to make phone calls and not have to put everything. I can take my phone holder down and I can have a, a, a desktop phone holder, if you will. Uh, let's walk around the barn a little bit more and see, see how it works. We're moving away from it now. Negative 100. DB, negative 101. I mean, I'm getting, I'm in the side lobes of that antenna now and I'm getting real, oh, there, it just dropped, okay. But either way, I didn't have LTE service, I didn't have service, period. Remember, we're on EVDO network, which is CDMA. Sorry for the alphabet soup, I didn't make it up. These are just the different network types. We, we, there was no signal here at all. And now we have signal, not just signal, but we have LTE signal. <gasps> I can stream. This is how the antenna is set up needs to be up high, way high. I'm already super stoked. Remember, remember I have a Wilson? This is already outperforming the Wilson. Just hands down, just in this configuration, just laying on the ground, it's outperforming. And the indoor antenna is superior to the Wilson indoor antenna, just so much stronger, way better power. The unit's way easier to use. Definitely, definitely am a fan of this so far. But now I gotta get this thing mounted up and route all this cable. And honestly, that's hurting my head right now because there's no real easy way to do it. You might be wondering, you know, hey, this guy might be completely full of it. There is two bars of Rome here outside, zero LTE. We're back to negative 92 dB on the EVDO, the CDMA network. And uh, we have negative 97 dB of uh, 3G essentially. There we go. Ran it inside here. Uh, this one piece of metal is actually loose. The wind blew it loose last winter and it needed to be fixed anyway. So it kind of killed two birds with one stone here. Did actually move this over next to the Wi-Fi uh, transmitter receiver. And sure enough, it did interfere and we lost signal strength uh, of both systems. So needed to keep it as far away as I could. This is as far away as I can get it without putting a big metal building in front of it. I could have moved this all the way to the back of the barn. But if I would have done that, then there'd be this huge metal building out in front and that would screw up radio wave, which comes out with the giant center node and in 360, Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. It comes out with a big bubble 
that, which is, you know, like this, and then it has side lobes that go all the way around it, like a, a flower, like a flower, right? And uh, if I were to put that metal building right in front, it would screw up that signal. You really want your antenna to have no obstruction in front of them. We are upstairs now, up above the shop, the office. I think I'm gonna call it the office because it's really, really pretty darn nice actually. All right, and uh, what we need to do now, I've decided that I'm gonna mount it right here. Be very clear, there we go. Look at that fanciness. Where's that? Okay. So you go right like this. You can see this wall uh, subscriber actually donated uh, plywood. I just haven't had time yet to come in here because I have to move all this stuff out and uh, finish up this wall. And then, then it'll be really super nice up here. So we got to get to that because that's awfully nice that somebody donated plywood to the project here. Thanks again. This is turning out really, really nice up here. Cannot wait to get the loading bench put in. I've got the bench here, but I don't have the loading equipment. I gotta learn how to use it all and get it all put up here. But the lights are great. Storage is great. It's nice and warm up here. Heat rises, yay, love physics. And uh, I got my window. Man, if we get, get this set up just right, I could even be streaming video up here. Uh, I could come out here. Man, unlimited potential. Unlimited potential. Well, folks, I'm going to be honest. This is the part I super duper don't like. All right, I'm going up on the ladder right now, so do not reply to this. Uh, I don't want to be freaked out while I'm up there and have a heart attack and fall. Again, don't reply. I'll let you know when I'm down. My hands are super sweaty right now. I don't like doing it, but I have to do it. It has to be done. Higher and higher we go. So now, what? So sorry, honey, I was on the phone. I was saying, don't reply because I'm up high on a ladder, but that didn't matter anyway. <laughs> With this particular antenna placement, I'm not sure we, we might get some interference from this guy here, the fluorescent, but I like this mounting location. So now what I need to do is go turn this all on and take our measurements. So let's get our before measurements right here. I have no service at all, none. No CDMA, no text, not, no uh, talk, nothing. We are completely without service, uh, which is the norm. Uh, so you can see earlier when we came out here and we had four bars of LTE, we were rocking around. Oh, it just grabbed a little bit. It grabbed negative 105 on voice and it just lost it. So, let's go crank it on and see what happens. Just grabbed LTE, and we're at negative one oh. Whoa, whoa, we've got, holy cow, we've got 97 dB. Oh my goodness, guys, this is the best. Look at that. Whoa, that is superior. Oh, that means the mounting and everything is rocking. Let's go in the office and check it out. Four bars of service right here, about three. That makes sense because we're inside. And we went from that 97 down to negative 109. But that's four, 108, that's four bars of LT. I could not make a call from in here. It's HD quality. Hey there, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, wow, you are like super clear. I've got you, you're on YouTube right now, by the way. And uh, we're calling you from my office out here where I used to not have any service. How do I sound? You are coming through really loud, but it's a little bit fuzzy. But oh my goodness, I can't believe that we're talking like this. Before I couldn't even understand the words that you were saying. Yeah, I've got HD plus call quality. I can hear you. You sound perfect. Wow, yeah, you, you're cutting out a little bit, but pretty darn good, babe. I'll uh, take it. Good okay, job. great. All right, talk to you later. All right, well, there you have it. Boss approved. I don't even know what HD calling is. Yeah, I have no idea what HD calling is, but obviously it's uh, really, really good. And uh, I'm all the way out here. Let's walk out here.
The Wilson, you basically have to be like standing right in front of the uh, negative 95 back here. Negative 95. Wow. I got full service here. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I highly recommend this product so far. I have nothing but good things to say about this product. Um, I got to finish that up there and get those wires all tucked in. So let's do that and continue this conversation. Hi right, guys. Even up here, I have negative 104. So I'm right in the side lobes of that antenna. This is really, truly a game changer. Just truly amazing. I got five bars. Have you ever seen? Well, in this deal, I really hoped that I would just get something equivalent to what we have up at the house. And uh, we got something way better than that. This system from High Boost, I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, as far as its initial install and setup and all that goes, it is the same level of complexity as any of these, really. This one does have automatic systems inside of it to where you don't necessarily have to control the gain too much. You, you, there are ways that you can go in and edit this. Uh, it does have the ability to change some of its settings. My Wilson, you have to go in there and manually change. And then if you get overlap and a whole bunch of weird RF stuff that can happen where it interferes with itself and blah, a whole bunch of issues can occur. This doesn't have any of that. Honestly, I, I want one of these for my house. I, I do. Uh, I, I, I want to just completely remove the Wilson and put these in. Now, what I don't know, but what, I mean, because I've just installed it, I don't know how long it's going to last. The Wilson has lasted for years. You just turn it on and it goes. Um, I presume this is going to be the same. It's, it's constructed very, very well. It's high-grade aluminum that they use to uh, build that frame. Uh, really good components. I mean, as far as, like, the... Uh, Antenna, they're the same quality as what I've seen in Wilson. Wilson, by the way, it's kind of a, what do they call it, prosumer type of grade, you know, almost a professional grade equipment, and that's where this is going to be at. But getting this in your house, if you live out where we live, this is almost like a you have to do it. In fact, I need to go tell my other neighbor about this. Um, you've got to have this. I, I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me. I'm saying it because I want one up at the house because I've been fussing with this problem for years. For years, I've been playing around with how to get good cell phone service and get good internet. I'm really curious to know how our internet would play along with this. We, we use Sprint as our cell phone provider. This works with AT&T, Verizon, US Cellular, uh, Sprint, T-Mobile, all of them. It works with all of them. You don't, it's not just based on your carrier. Carriers like AT&T, you can call them and they'll give you an internet Wi-Fi extender. Sprint give you an internet Wi-Fi extender, which just uses your internet. That doesn't work up here because we don't have internet. This is the only way to go. And this is working so much better than what we have at the house that I would love to see how our Sprint hotspot, which Sprint has the best deals on um, hotspots. For 60 bucks, you get 100 gigabytes. That's unheard of uh, for hotspots. And we can use that. And I am really curious to see how well it performs with this system. And if I bring it out here, basically everything's served from, from up at the house right now. So the shop here, the site, the house, all the internet is served through the house. Uh, if I reverse that, no, you know what? I still have a weak spot because I'm sending RF up there. Yeah, so we better have one of these up at the house and serve it that way still. That's the best way to do it. But oh my goodness. So happy with this. The LCD screen is really nice, so you can see what's going on there. You can immediately see the signal changes as soon as I turned it on down here and turned it on up there. You can see the signal is different. The app is cool. You can go on and it helps you do the pointing. The only problem with the app is you gotta be within 20, 30 feet of the actual unit itself, which sometimes that's difficult to do, especially when you, you've got 100, you've got 80 feet of uh, wire uh, to play with so you should be able to be up at 80 feet probably if you went on Wi-Fi you could do that but Bluetooth it doesn't um, doesn't work all that well so but I knew where to point since I already did all that work totally lapsed time on this project was about four hours and I had two interruptions where I had to go to the neighbor's house take care of some stuff down there as well as helping Mrs. Martian out with some things just momentarily um, but the majority of the time was spent going around the barn shop trying to figure out where the best place was to 
mount it knowing where I needed to point it to, and then playing around with the soft setup, which is where I just had it kind of strung out, and making sure it was going to work. Once I decided where to put it, it went together very, very quickly. Um, but I spent majority of that time reading the instructions and just figuring out where to put it. So if you knew where you wanted to put yours already or if you're limited in where you could put it, uh, I, I think you could probably get this thing installed in an hour easy. Um, but it took me a while because of those interruptions and just really thinking through everything. Totally, totally happy with it. Uh, I cannot recommend this enough. I hope this video gets out to people uh, that are just like me, that you know, you need cell phone service. Here, I'm in a big giant metal building with four, five bars of LTE right now. Uh, amazing. Let's watch Star Trek Enterprise. It's been a long road getting from there to here. Uh, there it is. Advertisements up. It just keeps giving me advertisements every time. But anyway, I was even streaming YouTube. Look at this. YouTube. You guys don't, you don't understand. You 1080p. I don't get to watch videos in 1080p. Amazing. I have to have one of these. Wow. What I really want to ask them is if I could get an outdoor antenna and extend outdoor between the house and here. Oh my goodness gracious, would that be fantastic because we have our family reunion here every year and if I could get coverage out there, everyone can be on LTE service, which, hey, let's face it, that's a big deal these days. You know, kids, they want to be on the phone and all the devices and stuff, so, oh my goodness. I want to say uh, thank you to HiBoost. Uh, for sending this uh, to us. I am, I am extremely grateful. I am, you don't understand, you've enabled my business out here. You've enabled me to do business. So thank you. I think that means something to everybody. Uh, and you've made a good product, a very good product that's working extremely well. And uh, time will tell how great it is, but I have no reason to expect that your product is gonna be anything but uh, superb. It's all mounted up. Uh, everything's out of sight, out of mind, and should never have to touch it again. So uh, I'm very excited about this. I hear my five o'clock alarm is going off. So it is five o'clock somewhere and that is here. Ah, before I forget, we have one last thing to do. Come with me. We're gonna need this. No need for my cell phone holder anymore. I think I need to 3D print a new cell phone holder out here, but it doesn't have to go there. It gets to go on the desk now. So thanks again for following along. Really appreciate it. Thanks again for Hibus for sending us uh, this kit so that we can put it together and make everything better out here. Thank you so much for that. Um, you guys know where to follow us at. You can follow us on Patreon if you like to support what we're doing. In the meantime, this is a Real Martian. Out. <laughs>